Can I ask you a question, Captain Calrissian? Anything, Hen? It's Han, but that's okay. Look, there's no mystical energy field that controls my destiny. It's all a bunch of hot toys and nonsense. Woo! Hello, my name is uh, Fu Manchu. And speaking of hot toys, well, I finally got my grubby little doll hands on a figure that I've been wanting for a long time. It only took about two years to come out. Yeah, so let's go check it out, shall we? Today's review will be on the hot toys and that fire behind the hot toys logo represents Greedo's chest after Han got through with him. Iron Maiden China. Us, I don't know, 90210, and this is for the Mmms 492. Mmms 492. And this is for the one dot dot six figure minus Slaswa his deluxe. Well, at least they spelled deluxe all the way, which is weird because they also spelled it up here. So, I, yeah, okay, so I got the Slaswa his. So let's go open up this box and see what Slaswa his is. So, after removing the shipper box, we find, holy cow, I am happy already. This looks awesome. So let's remove this plastic and get a better view of this box, shall we? So, with the plastic removed, check out this box. It looks amazing. Now, that is the actual figure, not a photo of Alden Ehrenreich, and it looks so good. Now, as for the box itself, it's just the normal you know, black and gray Star Wars box, but that sticker over there in the corner that talks about this being the deluxe edition, that bright orange looks so good and looks just like the uh, posters that came out for the Solo movie. Down here, this bright yellow of the like paper ribbon or whatever that goes around the box looks so awesome indeed. And as you can see, like I said, this is the deluxe edition that comes with his little furry coat and his like outfit that he wore when they were doing the train heist in the movie. That is awesome. Now, the back of the box isn't quite as exciting as you can see here. It just has all the legal mumbo jumbo that they always put on there. And it's always so weird when you get a new Hot Toys figure and it's already got scuffs and stuff. It's like, what the heck happened there, man? But, you know, just like the Star Wars universe, everything is lived in. Now, the picture on the side of the box has Han Solo dressed in his best Chewbacca cosplay, and that looks awesome indeed. Yeah, it's so cool that you get both looks with this figure. That is going to be so awesome. Now, I'll probably only display him in his normal Han Solo, you know, clothes there. But it's so nice to have the option. But you know what? I have waited two years to see this figure. So I say we open up this box and check him out. What do you say? Now, the top of the box comes off like a shoe box. And if you try to remove that ribbon, you will rip it because it is taped down to the inside of the box. Now, when you remove that lid, you find this truly awesome photo of the figure. And that looks so good. You can see the snow like going across him and everything. I've never seen this picture before and I absolutely love it. And honestly, you could probably frame this and they'd probably think it's a still from the movie. That is awesome. Now, when you remove this and look underneath, you find the figure itself and check that out. He's all decked out in his normal Han Solo clothes and that looks so awesome. So let's remove this top layer of plastic and get a better view of that figure, shall we? Now, it is worth noting that there are actually two layers of plastic. Well, sort of. You've got the upper level here that has the figure and most of his accessories. And then underneath that, you have this paper insert with this plastic bubble, which has his furry coat in it. And that is awesome. And I absolutely love how it has the faux top of his Han Solo jacket built into it. That looks so cool indeed. But anyways, let's take this top layer of plastic off and check out the figure. What do you say? So, here's young Han Solo frozen in carbonite, ooh, foreshadowing, with the top layer of plastic removed, and check that figure out, he looks amazing. Now, as you can see, he comes with some bare hands, some gloved racing gloved hands, I guess you could say, uh, winter gloved hands, you got his little uh, scarf, you got his gun that Woody Harrelson gave him, you got an extra hair piece, you got the figure itself, you got all these little doodads over here like his goggles and dice and everything like that, and this is amazing, I absolutely love it. Plus underneath there you can see a snowy base, now I think he's got two different options for the base, maybe three if you take them off, I don't know, but we'll find out in a minute, so let's go stand the figure up and check him out, what do you say? So, here's the figure fresh out of the package, still with the plastic on his head, on his hands, and on his shoes. Now, first impressions. One, I didn't expect his pants 
to feel quite the way they do. They're almost like track pants or something. I expected them to be thicker material or something, but yeah, they're very track material-like. Number two, I can see that they didn't change the shirt. I figured they'd change it to an all-black shirt. Now, maybe it was like this in the movie, but uh, or I guess as a prop. You know, maybe it was gray and black, but in the movie, it just looks like it's all black. So I don't know why they didn't change it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm going by a bad memory. I don't know, but I don't care. It looks awesome. That jacket feels like real leather. It feels like suede, and it is awesome indeed. And yeah, this figure looks amazing. Now, speaking of amazing, down here at the bottom, we have the stand itself. And check out the details on that. It looks so good. Now... This base actually does have two layers of these little uh, inserts here. This one's snowy, and the one underneath it is like a desert landscape or something like that. Now you can swap it out. Now I just keep the plastic on top of mine, at least for the time being, so I just cut the hole out so I can put it through the plastic, so I won't be showing off the desert one. But trust me, there's a desert one under there, and you can remove them both and just have the typical black display stand like that design there. And that's pretty cool indeed. So let's remove all this plastic and get a better view of this figure, shall we? And oh man, what a figure it is. Check out that likeness. They nailed Alden Ehrenreich's face. That looks so good. All the subtleties of the paint and everything, his eyes. It looks so amazing. And there was times too when he had the plastic over his uh, face, it almost looked like he had real hair, you know, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't sculpted. And I mean, even looking at it, you can see the fine lines in it and everything like that. Down here around his neck, he actually had some of that uh, like tissue paper or whatever around his neck. Now I removed that. Now I'm probably gonna just tuck this other stuff underneath his shirt because I don't want to remove it. I had a bad experience with a Gangster's Kingdom figure recently with that stuff, so I'm just gonna shove it underneath his shirt later on. Down here you've got his suede jacket, which looks more like denim up close. That's very cool, but to the touch it feels like suede. Down here you got his little belt and then his gun belt. Now as you can see he comes with all of his little doodads over here already on it but you have to put the communicator on in this little clip over here. And I thought that was leather there but it's actually just a little plastic pouch so that's kind of weird. And then down here you have his uh, gun belt with the gun holster which has a little magnet that holds down the uh, strap there. Very cool indeed. His hands look very good too. I mean, just that pose like that just looks like he's going for his gun and that is so cool. Like I said, the pants feel like track pants, but they do have the little uh, racing stripe down them, as you can see there. And his boots are amazing. Just check those out. They look like real boots and they're made out of leather and stuff. Now, I'm sure a lot of people are going to complain that they crinkle up and stuff like that but they look so good and they have weathering on them. That looks amazing, but yeah, that is very cool indeed. Now flip him around over here and you'll see the back of his belt there. Very cool. Now I hate those little silver studs because anytime you get a Hot Toys figure that has those, those can fall off very easily. So be very, very careful with that. You got the little uh, circular thing over there. That's pretty cool. Got his little Indiana Jones uh, straps on the back of his jacket there. That's pretty awesome indeed. And then up here you have the darker part of the suede leather looking very awesome. His hair sculpt back here looks equally awesome. They did a great job on that, but we'll look at that up close here in a second. And then down here at the back of his pants, you've got the strap for the holster and then his boots themselves. And the, like I said, those boots are so good in... When you look at them in person, they look like real boots shrunk down. That is so cool indeed. Now, looking at the figure up close and just check out that hair sculpt. They did an amazing job. Plus, it has a golden tint to it as well, which really bring out the details. And then the little subtleties of the hair painted on his forehead. That looks so amazing. Now, looking at the hair piece, you wouldn't know, but that thing is actually removable. You can see the little line right there above his ear. That is awesome, but we'll look at that a little closer up here in a second. Looking at his eyes, and they did a great job painting those. Now, Alden Ehrenreich's eyes are a lot lighter than Harrison Ford's eyes, which I believe are more hazel, brownish green. But you know what? Doesn't matter because he really captured the essence of the character, in my opinion. I think he did a great job. Now, looking at his face, you can see he doesn't have a lot of details to his face. He's got a younger face, which doesn't have a lot of wrinkles or lines or anything like that. And, like, underneath his chin there, I think in the movie they actually gave him the little scar. Uh, maybe Hot Toys didn't know that or they didn't have photos of him up close like this, you know, to show off the detail there. But it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I imagined it. 
But this looks amazing. They did such a great job on this sculpt. It looks so good. Turning it to the side here, you can see his sideburns. And man, that looks so realistic. It looks like real hair and everything. His face looks so good. He's got stubble. Oh, it looks so amazing. They did a great job. Now, like I said, his hair is removable. All of that comes off. You can see a little curve around his ear there. I love how the hair is hanging down on this side. It looks like it's hanging down over here as well. And you can see his other sideburn there. And yeah, the subtlety of the stubble and stuff, the shadow, everything. I love the way that looks. A little line around his mouth. They did an amazing job with this head sculpt. And I absolutely love it. And like I said, I waited two years for this figure to come out. And man, I am happy with it. Working our way down to his neck, you can see it's got the, the speckling and stuff of the skin, which looks really cool. You can see his jacket there. looks like the real deal. That's so awesome. He's got like this little doodad here on the front of it. Working our way down the sleeve, down to his hand, and you will see that his skin texturing is all, you know, speckled and stuff down there too. You got his pants and belt right there, and that's where the little communicator goes on. There's that little uh, plastic pouch there. You got the silver belt buckle and his normal belt above that. And yeah, he's got his little extra AA battery there and a little, uh, I don't know, phone chargers or something. Who knows? You got his little stripe down his leg there. And then you've got the, the uh, little holster there with the magnet there. That's pretty awesome indeed. Now, the inside of the holster doesn't look very good up close like this. But, you know, when the gun's in there, you're not going to tell. It's going to be covered up. And then working our way down here to these really awesome boots. And just check this out. They look like patent leather, number one, or really shiny leather. They're all weathered right there, which looks really, really cool indeed. And I like how they weathered them to look like they're just worn leather. Now, they could have, like, painted them up all snowy or something to go with the, uh, the uh, snowy motif with the furry coat and stuff. I'm glad they didn't do that. I like that they just kept it to where it could be either, you know, just dirty and stuff like that, weathered boots. So... Thankfully, they didn't make it so that those boots only go with the cold weather outfit. So that's nice of them not to do. And then down here, you've got the little buckles and straps right there. You've got that little doodad there and those little silver buttons I just mentioned. And man, oh man, this looks so amazing indeed. Yeah, they did a great job on this. Now, if we remove that hair piece, let's see what he looks like without it. It actually looks pretty terrifying, but you can see how the paint is painted on to the skin around the hairline. That actually looks really cool. But yeah, this hair piece actually comes off so that you can put the other one on and have the goggles on his face instead. Now, I'm not going to be putting the goggles on his face because I don't want to mess up this excellent paint job on his face. But I will show you what the extra hair piece looks like on this figure. Now, as you can see, I changed my mind and actually put the goggles on his face as well. And man, they fit perfectly. Now, you've got the strap that goes around the little divot in the hair above the ears. And that's pretty cool. I love how that looks with the strap, you know, on there. Now, as you can see, I did a horrible job putting the strap on there, but that's okay. But yeah, this looks so good like this. And man, it does make me sad that I won't be able to display him with both, you know, this look and the other look because I would really love to have the train heist scene too. But I'm just going to keep mine as normal Han Solo. As for his accessories, you get some extra wrist pegs. You get some race car driving gloved hands, which is very cool, which makes me really want the younger Han Solo white jacket that he has at the beginning of the movie. Oh, that would be so cool indeed. Right here, you get some more extra hands like that. You get some snowy glove hands, which are very cool indeed. You get his little uh, cable from the train heist scene. That's really cool. So if you get the get a 1-6 scale train to hook him to, well, you got that. Up here, you get his little dice, which looks so awesome. Get the little communicator and his watch. Very awesome indeed. You got his goggles up there, which we already looked at. Over here, you get the hair piece, which we already looked at. His gun looks really cool indeed. Check this out. It's got like gold on it this time. If you can see all the little details there. And yeah, that looks really cool. Now, if you flip the gun over, you'll see a silver circle there on this side of the gun. Now, I thought for sure when I saw that, that it was a magnet. But upon closer inspection, you'll see some little ridges there around it. Now, it looks to be just another dial, kind of like the one at the top of the scope there. But yeah, when I first saw it, I was like, why does he have a magnet on his gun? Does it stick inside of the holster or what? Now, working our way down here, you'll see his scarf. And then down here, you have two more cold weather gloved hands. So that means he's only got three cold weather glove hands. 
He's got two more of the racing driver glove hands, and that means he's got four of those. And then he actually has only one extra gun holding hand that's bare. So he's only got three bare hands. So that's pretty awesome indeed. So yeah, let's put this gun inside of his holster, shall we? So here's the gun inside of the holster. And I gotta say, putting that gun into this holster for the first time was really scary because that holster was pretty flat. And man, you really gotta put that gun in there. And I'm so afraid I'm gonna break the gun or break the holster. But you know what? Once you get it in there, it looks amazing. Now, like I said, that little strap is held down with a magnet. And yeah, that looks so cool. I also put the little communicator thing over here in his little clip. And that looks very cool indeed. Now, speaking of cool, you also get down here his little tiny dice. And just check out the detail on them. They did a great job. Now, these aren't made out of metal. They're just little plastic. Now, the chain, of course, is made of metal. But yeah, the little dice themselves are just made out of plastic. And you know what? They look cool. Plus, you can give them to your uh, last Jedi Luke Skywalker if you want to, too. And that's pretty cool. Last but certainly not least, we have this truly awesome cold weather furry coat. And it looks so good. Now, like I said, I love that it has his other jacket kind of built into it. That is so cool indeed. And most of this will be covered up by the scarf anyway. But man, I love those details. You got the little uh, straps and buckles over here. And yeah, one of the things I didn't know about it is the bottom part of the coat is actually made like almost like tuxedo tails. And on this side, it almost has two by itself because if you move this over, you'll see that there are actually two there. And that's pretty cool. Now, I didn't know that about the design. This side's almost like tuxedo tails. This side over here is like another kind of tuxedo that just kind of folds around as one piece. And that's pretty awesome indeed. Now, looking at the fur itself, you can see it kind of looks like beaver fur or something like that, the way it's striped and stuff. So that's pretty awesome. Now, if you flip the coat over, you'll notice that it looks pretty plain, but that's because he doesn't have his Han Solo belt on and all the straps and stuff hanging off of it. And man, oh man, I wish I could see what he looked like with all of this on, but I'm just going to keep him as normal Han Solo. Because as awesome as that train heist scene was, this is how I want to display my young Han Solo. This is awesome, but I really love having that option of having the train heist scene outfit. That is so cool indeed. Man, I hope that they don't stop with this Solo line. I do know Darth Maul's coming out eventually, and man, that would be so cool. And I hope I'm able to get him because I like Robo Legs Darth Maul. I wish they would make a Woody Harrelson. I don't know if they can get his likeness rights or anything like that. I do wish they make an Infus Nest. That would be so cool. I'd love to get a Kira to go with him. Man, there's so many. Are they even going to make the young Chewbacca? Because he was in all the promo photos with this Han Solo figure. So I hope he's coming out too. That would be awesome. But man, oh man, I, please don't stop making these hot toys because this is awesome. So, after two years of waiting, there's my review of the Hot Toys Solo Han Solo figure. And man, this figure was well worth the wait. Although, don't let it go to your head, Hot Toys. Don't make me wait two years for every figure. Man, oh man. And you know what? Two years really isn't that long, I guess, to wait. But look, when, a, when you find out about this figure around the time that the movie's about to come out, and then the movie comes and goes, and then it's on Blu-ray and stuff, by the time you finally get the figure, that's too long, man. But you know what? I really love this figure a lot. He looks so good. And man, oh man, please, Hot Toys, make some more from this movie because I can't wait to get more characters to go with old Han. So, until next time, tune in for more. You think everybody like you. Reviews. <laughs> you're nothing like me. I hope you're still paying attention because now I'm going to tell you the most important <laughs> Hey, this is Nolan North. You don't want to miss full reviews. And I'm out!